In the silent darkness of space, the universe is watching us, and now, with the James Webb Space Telescope, we're finally watching back. Webb has revealed galaxies warped into impossible shapes and the building blocks of worlds forming in alien chemical cauldrons. These aren't just pretty pictures, they're echoes from a time so remote it borders on myth, challenging our sense of scale and existence. Each new image is a message from a universe that operates on rules both elegant and deeply unsettling. Sometimes the most shocking discoveries are subtle, a molecule in the wrong place, or a structure that shouldn't exist. Webb's ability to dissect light has uncovered anomalies that force us to rewrite our textbooks and rethink what's possible. These findings hint at cosmic processes entirely new to science, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. The universe isn't obliged to make sense to us, and its phenomena don't fit neatly into our theories. Webb is our messenger from this great unknown, painting a picture of a cosmos filled with wonders and deep, unsettling mysteries. We wanted to see everything, and now, Webb is showing us. The only question is, are we brave enough to look? Einstein once proposed that gravity bends the very fabric of space and time, and now Webb has captured this phenomenon, gravitational lensing in breathtaking detail. The telescope's images of glowing Einstein rings are eerie proof, massive galaxies warping space-time, bending light from even more distant galaxies into perfect halos. These rings aren't just cosmic curiosities, they're natural magnifying glasses, revealing galaxies from the universe's earliest epochs that would otherwise be invisible. Webb's Cosmos Webb Survey has unveiled eight of these spectacular rings, including one showing a galaxy as it existed when the universe was just a billion years old. Gravitational lensing lets us peer into the cosmic dawn, magnifying faint primordial galaxies by factors of 10, 20, or even 100. The scale is staggering. A single ring is created by the gravity of hundreds of billions of stars, and even more dark matter, bending reality itself. When we look at an Einstein ring, we're witnessing the tangible warping of the universe's geometry. These images are haunting because they reveal the raw, incomprehensible power that holds the cosmos together. Webb isn't just showing us distant light, it's showing us the physical manifestation of one of nature's most mysterious forces. The universe is stranger and more beautiful than we ever imagined. And Webb is just getting started. Every glance at the night sky is a look into the past, but Webb is the ultimate time machine, designed to see the stretched ancient light from the universe's infancy. By capturing infrared light, Webb peers back to when the cosmos was just a few hundred million years old. Gravitational lensing is central to this journey, acting as a natural telescope to magnify the first galaxies. Before Webb, these early galaxies were blurry mysteries. Now, we see their chaotic structures and witness the birth of the first stars. This isn't just about seeing older things. It's about understanding our own origins. The elements that make up our world were forged in these first stars and galaxies. By studying lensed galaxies, scientists can measure their mass, chemistry, and star formation, piecing together the story of cosmic evolution. Each distant galaxy Webb reveals is another piece of the puzzle, tracing our cosmic lineage back to the very beginning. These early galaxies are our ancestors, chaotic and irregular, unlike the spirals we see today. By studying them, we're exploring our own galactic family tree. Webb is letting us witness the universe's first flickers of light. Webb isn't just revealing cosmic history, it's giving us intimate portraits of worlds in the making. In a young star system 625 light years away, a giant planet called CT Chabi orbits a stellar infant. What's remarkable isn't the planet, but the swirling disk of gas and dust around it. A potential moon forming factory. For the first time, Webb's sensitivity has allowed us to directly observe and analyze such a disk, a miniature solar system in the making. This discovery is a landmark for understanding how moons form, and why some planets have dozens while others have only one. The image of a giant infant planet wrapped in its own disk is both awe-inspiring and a little unsettling. Across the galaxy, new worlds and moons are being born from cosmic dust and gas. Webb is showing us creation in action. Webb didn't just photograph the disk around CT Cha B, it analyzed its chemistry and the results were startling. The disk is rich in complex carbon molecules like diacetylene, hydrogen cyanide, and benzene, very different from the water-rich disk around the parent star. 
This chemical split suggests planet formation actively sorts and changes the ingredients available for new worlds and moons. A moon born from this carbon-rich disk could be fundamentally different from one born in a water-rich environment. The presence of benzene, a building block for life, means the raw ingredients for life could be delivered to moons from the start. Yet the lack of water hints at dry, barren worlds despite their carbon wealth. Planetary nurseries are complex chemical laboratories and Webb is revealing just how diverse and dynamic they are. The story of C.T. Cha B is a tale of two chemical destinies, playing out in a single distant system. In the search for life, scientists look for biosignatures, molecules like phosphine, which on Earth is linked to life. When phosphine was detected in Venus's clouds, it sparked excitement, but Webb has now found phosphine in the atmosphere of a brown dwarf, Wolf 1130C, a lifeless, failed star. This discovery proves phosphine can be created by non-biological processes, forcing us to rethink our search for life. A single molecule is no longer a smoking gun. Context is everything. The presence of phosphine on a dead world is a sobering warning. Nature can mimic the signs of biology. It's disappointing because it complicates the hunt for life, but it's also thrilling, revealing new, mysterious chemistry in the cosmos. Now understanding how a failed star makes phosphine is a top scientific priority. By learning the difference between false alarms and genuine biosignatures, we refine our search for life. The hunt just got harder. And more fascinating. Webb is teaching us to be careful what we claim. The discovery of phosphine on Wolf 1130C didn't solve a mystery. It deepened it. Phosphine exists on Jupiter and Saturn, and now on a brown dwarf, but not on all similar objects. This inconsistency suggests a hidden process or condition we don't yet understand. The leading theory, phosphine, is dredged up from deep hot interiors by violent convection, but why only in some worlds? Until we know, phosphine can't be a reliable sign of life. It's like finding a footprint on a beach, only to learn the wind can make the same shape. Webb's discovery is a reminder. The universe is a complex chemical laboratory, blurring the lines between geology, chemistry, and biology. Each answer brings more questions, revealing the depth of our ignorance. The story of phosphine is now about understanding the fundamental processes shaping molecules across the cosmos. Webb is showing us that the search for life is really a search for understanding. The James Webb Space Telescope is more than an observatory, it's our vehicle into the unknown. Its discoveries, from Einstein rings to strange planetary chemistry, are redrawing our map of the universe. The cosmos Webb reveals is beautiful, but also unsettling and unpredictable. The most important discoveries may be those that shatter our theories, forcing us to rebuild our understanding from scratch. Every image Webb sends back is a step deeper into the unknown, charting territory once invisible to us. As Webb continues its silent vigil, we wait with excitement and trepidation for what it will find next. The universe is speaking, and for the first time, we're learning how to listen. The journey has just begun.